This is the Firefly Micro. It is a 1080p camera and it actually has a micro SD card that goes inside. Records at 30 frames per second and the video quality is pretty decent because the lens is not a pinhole lens. It's an actual lens with a wide FPV. And why is this Firefly so great? Because it only weighs 14 grams. But what the heck am I going to do with it? Well in this video I'm going to attach this camera to a boat, to an RC car, to an FPV drone, and even to a DJI Mavic Air. It's really not that bad. So here, check this out. All right, I got the little Firefly Micro attached to my little Vortex 150. I put it on the top and with this little Micro at only 14 grams, it should barely feel the weight. Waterproof, but uh, I'm I'm assured that this boat will not flip upside down. So, Jacques, what type of boat is that? That's a Phelan FT011. And uh, how fast does it go? Do you think? According to the manufacturer, they claim 60 miles an hour. I have not pushed it that far. <laughs> I don't think it looks pretty fast. It's fast. And uh, there we go. We're recording. Take our way. Ready? My camera getting ripped. So that was pretty cool, but I have more tests coming up with this camera. I'm going to stick it on an RC car, run it through the dirt. I'm going to put it on a DJI Mavic Air and fly it upside down. And I'm going to put it on an FPV drone in a bright sunny day and crash it. So that's all coming up. But before I get to that, let me just show you a quick unboxing. Here's the box for the Firefly Micro Action Cam. It's extremely small, only at 14 grams. Let me show you what comes inside the box. You get all these pieces here, which look like GoPro pieces, and they actually are GoPro pieces. So it comes in its own little holder. It shoots at 720p and 1080p. The camera does come out of its holder, and there we go. There is the super tiny camera. Only has two buttons on it. One is a power button. Hold it down to turn it on. And uh, this button here is your mode. You can go between 720p, 1080p, or just take photos. On the side is a USB port, and that's for charging. And it comes with its own USB charging connector, plus a little video out here. It takes a micro SD card, which is not included. You attach this piece to the bottom portion right here. Then you connect this piece, and this piece will connect to any GoPro accessory that exists on the market today. That's a GoPro session, and that's the Firefly. Huge difference in size. Huge difference in weight as well. Should I put it here or should I put it here? Yeah, that looks. Put it on the hood. That way. Flips this low. Right there. Power it on. 
And I gotta put it in 1080p mode. Ready, sir. Ready to go. I made a clean spot. All right, so now we'll build a film to the rear of what the Mavic Air sees. And I can't put the camera here because when you power the camera on, it actually interferes with the GPS on the drone. So I'll have to move it to a different location. Location two, I, take, I took it off the top and I put it on the bottom and it's looking backwards. This is gonna be a different aspect view. So the Mavic Air camera shooting forward and the little 1080p camera shooting backwards. This camera has a super wide field of view, so it should be an interesting view. Camera's on the bottom, drone's on the ground, ready to go. It's nice and sunny out, so I'm gonna try this on an FPV quad again and see how it goes right out here at the beach. Small crash, still in one piece. Camera survived. This is a Rise Tello. You can take this little firefly and stick it on top and it fits perfectly and fly around and now you have 1080p at 30 frames per second. Slide to take off, here we go. Here we go, we have the video footage of the Tello with the firefly on it. Here's the video from the firefly. How's it look? Not too bad, all right. I'm running low on batteries, so uh, let's land it. And the best part is, guess how much this little Firefly costs? Well, it's gonna run you about $25. That's right, 25 bucks for this little thing. You can use it in so many different applications. So my final thoughts on the Firefly is that it is a really good camera for the price. Find something else with an actual lens on it. This has an actual lens, not a pinhole, that does 1080p at 30 FPS. You can put a micro SD card in it and it costs you in the $25 to maybe $30 range. Anyways, I'm gonna put a few links below. Check the video description below. You'll see some links to where you can buy this. You can buy it on Amazon, you can buy it on Gearbest, a lot of other places. Check around for the lowest price. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button. And if you're not already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button because I have many more videos on the way. Anyways, for now, take care.